Hello and welcome back to ASX Options. This is Jonathan speaking. Today we're going to be implementing the Black Shells formula in Python. So let's let's just get started. So we're going to add a new file. I'm using um, the Visual Studio editor, but you could use whatever editor of Python you want. So let's just go ahead, create a new file, blackshells.py. Okay, so we're going to be implementing the Black Shoals formula in Python. So the first thing we're going to want to do is import NumPy as NP, okay? And we're going to need um, scipy.stats or from scipy.stats we're going to import norm because we're going to need the normal distribution. Um, so let's think about the parameters that we use in our Excel video. So let's just replicate them. So define variables. So we had our interest rate, which was 1% or 0 0.01. We have our underlying at $30. Our strike price was 40 and time was 240 days. Remember that's out of 365. And um, we also had our volatility or our sigma, which was 30%. So let, let's create a function because um, then we're going to be able to use it again and again and again. So let's call it black shells and we're going to take those inputs. R, S, K, T, Sigma. And there's one more thing. We need to tell it which type it's going to be. A call or a put. So I'm going to call that type and we're going to say that if it, we pass the string C, it's going to be a call and if we pass the string p, it's going to be a put. But let's, by default, make it equal to c. So what are we going to do in this function? It's always good to define what you're going to do. So if someone's reading over your code, they can, they can see clearly. We're going to calculate the Black Shoals option price for a call or put. Cool. So the first thing that we're going to define is D1 and D2. So D1 is the natural logarithm. So mp.log of s over k plus the interest rate plus sigma squared divided by two. And this is what I forgot in the Excel you have to multiply that by the time. So let's divide that entire thing by sigma times by np dot square root. So the square root function you can get from math, but I'm using the numpy square root. Could just have easily um, <laughs> squared it to the half. So now pretty comfortable that um, that's our D1. So let's go ahead and define D2. And if we remember from last time, it's just D1 minus sigma times by the square root of time. Okay, excellent. So now we have to take into consideration whether it's gonna be a call or a put. And we also want to allow for the scenario that um, uh, some of the values are coming in incorrectly. So we're gonna do a try and exception. So we're going to try if the type above is equivalent to C, then it's gonna be the call. So we're gonna call that the price. If you remember if it's a call, it's the underlying price times by the normal distribution. So norm dot the cumulative distribution function and we just have to type in D1 centered around zero. And because it's the standard normal distribution, we have a very uh, standard deviation of one. 
So minus the strike, the discounted strike price. So NP dot exponential minus R times T. So that's the discounted strike price times by norm dot CDF D2 centered around zero and one. Excellent. So now I, I would say else, but let's just else if type is equal to P, then the price of the put is going to be equal to the discounted strike. Forgot the NP there. Discounted strike times by the normal distribution of minus D2 centered around zero variance of one minus s times norm dot cdf of minus d one zero one excellent so that's our that's our try and let's make our exception okay so when are we going to accept this so if something goes wrong what do we want it to print back let's say Okay, let's assume that you've typed in near the C or P or you've made some kind of mistake. Let's just say, please confirm all option parameters. Parameters above. And three exclamation marks, because why not? Excellent. And um, we can't forget to actually return something. So under the try, if we've calculated a call price or a put price, let's return the price of that option. Excellent. So let's test this out. So we're going to print option price is, and I'm going to round it because it'll have infinite amount of places. <laughs> so black shoals. And remember, we've defined these parameters above. So we've actually called them exactly by the name. So let's just copy and paste them. Okay. And because we're using the round function here, well, because we're using the round function here, we're going to round two decimal places. Finish off the brackets, save that down. Now in our terminal here, we're going to um, type Python, Black Shoals PY, and we're just going to hit run. Oh, and no, no module SciPy. So for any of you that have that, we're just going to pip install those modules. Super easy. I just didn't have that in this environment. But NumPy must have been there. So we'll just wait for that to install and then we'll be able to run that again. So just up key, enter. Excellent, option price is 51 cents. And if you remember from the Excel video, that was about um, similar with, with that, despite the fact that we'd missed out the T. Um, and that, that's because it was close to one year. So, you know, we divide, we're times in by 0 0.6, 0 0.7, and it's maybe a very small number anyway. Um, 0.3 squared divided by, you know, divided by two. It's quite kind of a small number. Um, so times in by one or 0.6 doesn't really make a big impact. So let's see what happens when we change this to put. Uh, we're gonna save that and 10.25. So very, very similar there. So we're gonna try and add it and create a dashboard and further videos so we can make this more interactive. Excellent. So thank you very much for listening, guys. This is ASX Options, and if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe so you get more content, and hit the like button.